All right, so the shorts came into this week really licking their chops, right, thinking this is it. This is the week that this market's going to crumble. Well, not only has the market held up uh, and doing really well today, but look at these winners. The, the big winners today all have big short positions. Gen Generac, 8 over 8 percent. Noel Rubber, uh, almost 14 percent. Carnival Cruise is 13 percent. Uh, Old Dominion, 6 percent. Charter, 8 percent. American Airlines and all the airlines, big double-digit short positions. Now, I'm sure the Mavens are going to craft a new position out there that shows just how massive short squeezes are the signs of the beginning of the end. All right, I'm being a little facetious, but let me bring in uh, Fitzgerald Group Chief Investment Officer Keith Fitzgerald. Keith, just your thoughts in general on this market. It won't quit. I know, I know all of the things, all of the logical things, all the things they teach you on Wall Street, 101, 202, 303, says we should be crashing, but the market won't quit. Exactly. <laughs> That's the best part about this is people have been arguing with you and me for years that stocks are expensive, that tech's going to go away, that the bears are going to come out. They predicted 10 out of the last two recessions, Charles. A market like this exists because there's real profits and real companies making them. I think it's an extremely compelling and exciting time to be very focused on the trends of our lifetime. So talk to us about that, because, I mean, we know gener generative AI, which I think has stolen some of the headlines uh, from a lot of the other exciting things out there. This is the fourth industrial revolution, and that's just one component of it. Well, it is. And people, Charles, they underestimate the magnitude of this. This is on par with the introduction of penicillin, invention of electricity, distributed generation. I think, dare I say it, that AI may, in fact, be the single largest investment trend in recorded human history. I think it's going to add 30 to 50 bucks a share to many companies, starting with Apple, Microsoft, and some of the great names that everybody's complaining about because they're so narrow and so expensive. They haven't even gotten started yet. Now, do we broaden that out, though? I mean, is there, I guess there has to be a point, right, as a tool where it also gets to, it helps you get to your bottom line, like a Tesla. I know you like Tesla, which, by the way, is another name Wall Street hates. But could you imagine if they really can get AI uh, involved in there even to a greater degree? Exactly, because that's the thing, right? Everybody who is poo-hooing it, particularly the perma bears who have had the stage for so many months now, what they don't understand is that they are inherently biased through the lens that they're looking at the rear view mirror. If you start to look forward, which is what Elon Musk, what Tim Cook does, what any of the prominent CEOs do, you see a very different picture. I would submit that the E hasn't even gotten started, particularly with that, and all the gamesmanship Forget about it. Your opening was brilliant today. You've got to be in to win, but you've got to be in with the right companies. All right. Before I let you go, um, you, you've also been a little cautious in, in terms of, you know, I think you told your subscribers it's not time to really spread your wings. What does that mean? What that means is you want to play with the very best names. And I'm talking household names, top one or two positions in their respective industries. It's tempting to go out for the little guys, tempting to go out for the small stocks. But you're going to get skinned because you can't beat a supercomputer at chess. Why would you be able to beat a supercomputer highly leveraged trader that's going to pick you off like a grape off a of vine? You've got to stick with the big names because those are the things that are going to power forward and endure the ups and downs. And nobody wants to be a grape off the vine, I can tell you. Keith, thank you so much, my man. Appreciate it. Hi, it's Keith here. Thanks for checking out today's highlight clip. What'd you think? Did I make sense? Is there something you'd like to add? Make sure you leave a comment down below and of course click subscribe to keep up right here on YouTube or sign up for the email newsletter at the link below. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram for my real-time thoughts on markets, analysis, and a whole lot more.